My name is Steve Baskoff, and I'm with the Digital Scholarship and Communications Office of Vanderbilt University's Jean and Alexander Hurd Libraries. We're going to continue our exploration of statistical analysis by looking at continuous bivariate data. If you have arrived at this lesson through some means other than our landing page, you might be interested in knowing that this is a part of a series of lessons called Code Graph. You can find out more about these lessons by going to vanderbilt.lt slash codegraph. Today we're going to learn about two different kinds of analyses that we can carry out on bivariate data. These tests have in common that they all use two variables that are both continuous. That is, both of the variables are composed of numbers. One of those analyses is linear regression, and we can use linear regression in two different ways. We can use it as a model to predict the value of one variable from another, but we can also use it as a statistical test for assessing whether a particular effect is significant or not. Correlation is used to assess the strength of relationship between two variables. We do not make any assumptions about cause and effect with correlation. So if you have data that consists of two columns of continuous numeric data, then you have to make some decisions to help you figure out what the right test is to do. The first thing, and this is pretty important, is are you assuming that there is a cause and effect between your X and your Y variable? Often we tend to think of the X variable as the independent variable. That's the variable that we can change independently and that the Y variable is a dependent variable, the one whose state depends on the state of the X variable. If we are thinking about our data in this way, then we are assuming cause and effect and linear regression is the test that we will probably want to do on those data. On the other hand, there are oftentimes situations where we don't know whether X is cause and Y is effect or vice versa. Sometimes we simply want to know whether those two variables have some kind of relationship with each other, whether one causes the other or both of them are influenced by a third variable. We don't know, and in that case, we need to do a correlation. Sometimes when we don't know cause and effect, we still want to perform a linear regression because we would like to be able to predict the value of y from the value of x. Even if we do not know that x is the cause of y, we can still make predictions based on the value of x. And in this case, we would be using linear regression in this second way.